Hi, it's Sue. Welcome back to my channel today. I, um, I'm um, working with another paper bag, brown paper bag, and I was just trying out different colours on here. So today I um, decided to do as Marguerite has done on her challenge and use a collection of stamps that I own uh, to cover one piece of paper. Now she did a 12 by 12. I've covered this paper, brown paper bag, which measures nine by eight, I think. Yeah, nine by eight. And um, what I'd like to do, if I could from here, I'd like to make a tag for the last pocket that we worked on, which was this one this side loading pocket. I've stuck something in there, but I, I'd rather make something specifically for here. So I was thinking this would be the ideal, you know, oddment left over. And um, I do have an envelope punch board, but I thought I would try and make an envelope the way Mar uh, Margaret does by just cutting a square and cutting and folding a square. So I think what I might do is, let's have a look. I was wondering about covering this piece of card here. And to do that, I would need, right say it about there, which means I have, what's that, six and a quarter? Yeah, six and a quarter inches. So I think I might cut a square from here of six and a quarter inches. So I've just get my blade. I use a blade to cut here. Um, I find it easier for small pieces. I didn't particularly want to put this in the, in my big cutter. So let's go. Okay, and we'll put that piece aside. And we want six and a quarter this way. And so six and a quarter this way gives me top section which is fine. That works. And actually this bottom section we could use that as well. We could use that for a pocket at the bottom of a page or a side tuck maybe. Anyway, put that aside for now and let's concentrate on our envelope. So the next thing we need to do is work out which is the centre. And I thought I might do this double because it's a bag. It's a bit flimsy if I just do it with one piece. What do you think? Is that a good idea or not? I'm going to try. Um, no. Let's make a flimsy envelope. Let's just carefully snip this open. Is there? Oops. Yeah, I was more worried about these sort of joiny bits, so we'll keep it separate. All right. So 
This is our square, six and a quarter inches. Now what we need to do is find the middle. And um, I'm trying to think how she did it. I might do it diagonally. By drawing a line from corner to corner. I thought I had a pencil here, hang on. Here we go. So we're going to go from that corner across to this one. Okay, and the same the other way. From that corner. So that's found a corner spot. So we want to fold it into the center on opposite sides. bottom one we need to go up a tad which I think will be about there and I'm going to line this as well so first of all where's my rubber just carefully rub those lines out I want to do is I want to line it and I thought I would use some um, music paper so what I'm going to do is line this up to here yeah. and again just using my ruler going to mark around that spot just on the edge we need to go down just a tad Probably, yeah, there will be enough. Okay, so let's cut this. Again, I'm going to use my blade. Take a slither from there. And yeah, 
and this is the top. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to round the corner of this piece, the top, like so. Let's see if I can do this one as well. Might not like it because it's thin. Oh yeah, that's fine. do that long enough did I? I might just get away with it. We'll see. Okay so let's glue this in. This was going to be, it's a bit late in the day here, it's Anzac Day and um, we went to our local country town just down the road um, for the 11 o'clock service today which was very well attended I have to say it's wonderful um, they had um, a pipe band and they um, they marched into town um, some uh, of the return servicemen um, some, um, you know, veterans, I mean, um, quite a few school children, which was surprising. The local schools were very well um, represented. And um, they spoke to the, um, like the head boy, head girl, what they call them here, it's a bit different, um, spoke, gave a bit of a reading and spoke about what Anzac Day means to them. It was, um, it was wonderful. So um, that was this morning and then we went back to friends for lunch after. So I haven't, didn't get back to my room until late on. So I just wanted to I'd started stamping this paper before we left. Okay, I just got away with that look. Oh, gracious. Okay. Now, I'm going to glue that piece down. Sorry, that's that corner there. I've folded it back and I will glue it down. Just to hold that in place. And then I'm going to glue along here and along here. Just along the side. that out a bit. Um, now I thought what we might do is add a label on here. Isn't that funny? I was so sure I had green labels and I clearly don't. Oh well. Hey ho. No, wrong, 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 wrong. Okay, stop messing around. I think it will be those. Right, now this has had a chance to dry a bit. Let's fold it. That's 
what I've decided to go with. <laughs> I just want this on a page. We can um, make something to go into it, or I've got bits around. So it will fit on the page a bit like that. Will I make it a flip out? Yeah, I have to decide whether or not to have that as a flip out. But say I'll got a bit of time I can play with that idea. Okay now the next thing is this. Okay we want to make a tag. Is that going to be wide enough? Yep. This is very quick and easy. This one. this is a die cut label, and you can see it's from a um, a food package. And I like this because of the I think it's a tomato paste. I like the colour of the inside. I managed to get that on reasonably straight. those bits. Oops. Okay, so we need to punch a hole in the top. Um, and I might put an eyelet in this one. Yeah, that's one. I have to whack it with the hammer. <laughs> I won't do that while the camera's on, I promise. <laughs> oh dear. Um, yeah, so I think just a bit of twine in there. A bit of this hemp twine will be fine. Oh. Definitely wasn't in, was it? Okay, I'm going to turn the camera off and whack that with a hammer. I'll be back. Okay, so after dithering around, I've just stamped onto a piece of card and um, I'm going to put that over the tag and I might just add this underneath it. So, um, Let's just trim this. Funny, isn't it? You can, um, I thought it was reasonably organized, but um, the bits I got out in the end just didn't go. So I had to start from scratch, which was a bit painful. 
never mind. And I'm just going to rough this up a bit. And then I will ink it as well as the circle. also decided to um, set the envelope on this um, following page um, it says that it's a side flip I'll show you what I mean in a minute so I don't want anything too chunky for this pocket which I think we'll just center that here There we go, and I've got the jute. There we go. Do that does hang over a little bit. We might just trim that. Okay, so that was made to complete which page? This page. I might even add something down the bottom to bring that green in. Let's just have a look. The light is fast going here. It's come over really cloudy as well, but must be getting on now. Yeah, 20 past four. So, um, yes, evening is drawing on. Okay. Pop that right at the bottom there. And I may even stamp a number on it, but it just, brings in that bit of green. Okay, so that completed that page, so I'm happier about that. Now, this one fits here. I decided on this page. And then this page, oh, that's why the paper clips off. Set that over there, flip this round. Okay, now what I want to do is add oops, my envelope. Why don't I just take that out completely? That would be the sensible thing to do, Susan. There we go. More haste, less speed. Okay, so yeah, I want to add this on like this. I've decided now with this piece of plain green card over the top and I've picked a perfectly plain piece of card because that could be used for journaling. That's the way I'm looking at it at least. And it will fit like that. So, it's a shame we did all that covering of the envelope. And now we're going to glue it down. <laughs> I guess if I was doing it on the other page, I could have made that into a pocket, couldn't I? Tagged it there and had it as a tuck. Oh well. Now, this needs a very small slither off the bottom. 
and it's not even particularly straight, which is interesting. Okay, so let's make sure I'm doing this right because the way I'm going today could all be wrong. Okay, that's the correct way round. That's it. And I think we'll use the art glitter glue just to be on the safe side. I'm going to do that stamping onto um, card, uh, plain paper or card again um, and use it more as a floating pocket so that you get to see all the stamping. Here I've hidden half of it. Like I say, if I'd have put it over to the next page, I could have used that as a tuck spot and carried the design over. Never mind. Did I put money on there? I don't think I did. There we go. There we go, and I've added, because like I say I added some um, ephemera in there, a couple of tickets, a couple of bits, just that could be used in other spots in the journal. Okay. This um, second section of my journal is getting a bit chunky as well. Now, I don't want to have to do third. I think I'll stop before I do that. Just tidy up here and we'll go over to the other table and look at it properly. Don't be a sec. Okay, so here we are finished and what we did was stamp a brown paper bag using a mixture of stamps. Uh, just one colour ink, a green. Uh, it was a stamping up ink, um, kiwi something, kiwi kiss was it? Can't think, anyway, it was green. And um, what we did was cut enough to make this envelope and we made the envelope as per Margaret. And what I've done is added it to my page as a flip out. Okay, and I've got this page clear for any journaling or I may well use that page to decorate at the moment. I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, so that was one piece. The other thing we did was completed our last project, which was another paper bag that we covered with... Um, Oh, invoices and um, other bits of scripted paperwork that was um, scaled down and um, used that to cover the brown paper bag. 
and it's got a tag, a large tag in this pocket. And I needed something to go in here. I wasn't very happy with what I popped in there. So we use more of the stamped paper bag to cover this tag. Just did a bit more stamping on some green card stock. I think that's from a six by six scrapbook pad. And that just slots in there. So um, that left, of, I've skipped that page. I think um, Rachel's is on there. Um, yeah, that left us this little portion. I think there might be another little scrap, but this is the bottom of the bag. So we might use that as a pocket somewhere down the track. I mean, it could even be on here. Yeah, I, don't be surprised if you come back and find that I've added another little pocket there. I think that could, um, that could work. Okay, so that's me for uh, today. I hope to see you in the next video. Um, hope you're well. Sorry, I didn't get to, I was all over the place today. I'm not sure what the story was. Um, however, I got through it in the end. And this is another day in my 100 days for my everyday journal. So um, I'll catch you later. Bye now.